Master RKO from the RKO Network and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and today is going to be a quick video and a little bit of a different video. Now everybody knows or should know what a pentakill is. A pentakill is when you get five kills in succession. Now in League of Legends and Smite this is a very big thing. To get a pentakill is very difficult and sometimes it just takes a little bit of luck. Now and we also don't need, you know, scumbag teammates to take them. So basically what it is, is if you don't know what a pentakill is, it's when you kill one person, then immediately kill another, then a third, then a fourth, then a fifth. With no breaks, the other team has not responded yet, and you kill every single member of the team. No assists, nothing. Well, other people will get assists, of course, but, you know, you know what I mean. So basically what this is a story of is a pentakill that happened off camera with no real chance to get recorded now as you guys know the last couple weeks I haven't been able to live stream or make videos for you guys the Xbox uh, record the upload uh, app and the Xbox streaming for smite was down after the last patch now with that happening I wasn't able to record stream or Xbox record any clips anything that majorly happened during this time they also started their modes of the day now their modes of the day their very first one was an egyptian mode of the day so gods like honor anubis bastet isis osiris um sobek um who else who are some other egyptian gods that i will put on just to kind of show you um, Neath, Raw, uh, Serket, and Geb were, the, were are all, all the gods. So to set up the scene that I'm getting ready to show you, or no, not really show you, but kind of describe to you, on well, the enemy team, they had a Raw, a Anubis, a Bastet, an Osiris, an Isis, and I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was the enemy team. Anubis, Ra, Bastet, Osiris, and Isis. On our team, the only main ones that I really need to point out are we had a On Her and a Geb. And then we had three other teammates but the two people that matter I was playing on her and then Wicked Gamer one of my roommates was playing Geb at the time now I'm going to hop into a we were playing assault assault was the game mode and the mode itself was a little weird um, everyone kind of understood it and everyone knew like their cooldown there wasn't any like weird cooldowns or anything it was just a bunch of egyptians playing against each other so of course things were a little stalemate ish i guess you could say so we're gonna go ahead and do this i'm gonna have to put a bot on just to kind of do that so but um i'll just put i don't know Um, we'll just put a Neath bot on for now, I don't know. And we'll go ahead and start the game. Now, to set the scene for you guys a little bit, we are playing on Assault. You guys know Assault. Assault is the giant one-lane map. There's no buffs. You can't back, so you can't hit the down button to back. And you can't walk back either. You have to die in order to respawn. And there's there's the towers and minions and that's it. And it's five versus five. So basically what was going on was a giant stalemate. And this stalemate went on for a good... I would say... Here we'll go ahead and put some stuff on. Throw you on... Throw you on with some pots in case I would die to Neef, and we're good to go. So basically, this is the map as you can see, and 
There was no like weird things like cooldown reductions or anything like that, which which was weird. But it was the very first mode of the day, all Egyptian gods. So, and there are minions and everything. And basically what it was, I should be able to do this because they don't usually show up fast, is we were here. And it was one giant stalemate going back and forth, back and forth. You know, we'd push to their tower. We'd get to here and and die or something and then they'd push to our tower we'd come back here and push 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 we were on this side by the way so we were pushing this way so we were going for it going for it nothing happened nothing happened the whole entire time we had a sobek who the whole entire time i was like yes please come on come on come on just use your flip and flip him back into the tower like he usually does and i'm gonna try to kill neat so she's not in the way I would like her to not be in the way. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, it will. Alright, so anyways. So, I'm on this side, pushing this tower. And finally, Sobek does what I wanted him to do. So, Sobek's over here, where that Neath Weave is. Flips him back, he goes into the tower. So, I come up, and bop, 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 alt. Now, Wicked Gamer, who at the time was Geb, is all the way down where you can see my white markers at. He's down there. He alts with Geb, knocks everyone up. So they pop up, I come up, and just bop and hit Osiris. So now, Osiris is dead. So I throw this up, pop that up over there. Everyone starts splitting. I see Bastet, she's over there in the corner. She's weak. Pop up, bam, hit her, she's dead. Popping down, hitting. Now I'm hitting Anubis, and Anubis is starting to drop. He dies, and then the very, very last kill. And at this point, like I have a quadra kill. I'm going insane. There wasn't a Neath hitting me, but there, there, there was a quadra kill, and I wanted the last one. So at this point, I'm popping down Isis, popping down Isis. She's underneath her tower, and I'm just like, you know what? At this point, I don't care if I die. I just want that kill, so I come up here on the tower like this and just bop and hit her, hit her twice, tower is hitting me, get the penta kill, and I go crazy. Like at this point I'm like screaming, I'm like, penta kill, oh my gosh, and I'm like screaming, I was pounding my chest, it was insane, and it, it was just something that I had never experienced before, I've never gotten a penta kill before, I was proud of myself for getting it. But I was even more proud of, you know, my team, the teammates that helped because Sobek set set it up. He set up the first kill perfectly with that throw back into the tower. And then uh, Wicked Gamer, my roommate, with the alt that split everyone up. And then uh, my pyramid that split everyone up again. And just set up for the perfect shots. And I, I wish I could have recorded it, but at the time it wasn't, it was down. But that was basically it. That That's the story of the pentakill. I'm going to... Do this real quick. I'm probably gonna die actually. But yeah, so that that's the um Okay, yeah, I died. But that's it, that's the story of the Pentakill and the the probably on par for one of the most proudest I've been of a moment. Like in and gaming and esports and stuff like that. I mean, I've had like competitive moments and stuff, but just it, it was the first pentakill that I've ever had in a video game, whether it be League of Legends, whether it be this. So it was just fantastic to to have that happen and just to experience it, especially with, of course, Wicked Gamer, the roommate. My other roommate was upstairs sleeping, woke him up because I was screaming so loud. Um, it's about to die to a tower, but well, that's bots for you. But, again, it was just so, like, it's something that, of course, like, you'll experience more than one occasion sometimes, if you're in the right situation. It's harder to get in Conquest, just the way it is, but just at that time, it was just set up perfectly. So, one more time, I'm going to, like, speed through it real quick and show what happened. So, just as a, as a thing, Sobek flips him up, come up, alt, take all the hits, um... Osiris gets altered by uh, Geb. Bam. Kill him. Looking around. See Bastet. She's in the corner. Land on her. Pop that up. I'm sitting there pelting Anubis, pelting Anubis, pelting Anubis. Anubis dies. 
Osiris or Isis is weak, come up and just bam, hit her once, pound her against there, and just drill her and dead pentakill. Screamed pentakill. Game was over. Um, right after that, we started pushing down the, that tower, and they surrendered, and I was just like, yes. Like, and that's that's nothing better because I mean the worst feeling in the world would be to get a pentakill and for some reason to have the enemy team to just come down and and bash into your like bash into your game or something and just kill you like that that would be bad. So you know to have the team surrender to have us win it and and to win the first first mode of the day, which I was struggling with. The first mode of the day when it first came out where it was like that was awful for me for some reason i just couldn't get like the right set team to get it done do i can help play the bot mm, yeah, killed her. but anyways um so you know this is the mode of the day that they had for that day that was the moment that i am probably the most proud of i want to go ahead and surrender um, just because I don't want to be in this thing anymore, but that my friends is the story of the the, the pentakill the legendary pentakill that I've got That I didn't get to share with you guys and I wish I would have because um, Just like everything else. I wish I could share with my viewers and share with my followers and everything so um, You know I, I posted on Twitter tweeted got Scott Gandhi one of the guys at high res and and tweeted it out on Twitter so you guys probably saw when I got it and how excited I was, but I thought I would kind of share the situation that happened and just how excited I was to actually have that happen. Um, and to, uh, just to kind of commemorate that, I um, also want to announce that I am going to start streaming, streaming on schedule. I would like to start streaming every day, at least until I find a job or something, which I probably will be here soon. Um, until then, I'm gonna start streaming 5 p.m. every single day. All of my dailies are at least conquest, just to get into a stream schedule and, and to get you guys into a stream schedule as well. And hopefully, I can start really making this into a, a business. I know Wicked Gamer's gonna start streaming, and as soon as he does, I'll announce that. Uh, I don't know if Brandon's going to, but we'll find out. If he does, I'll definitely announce that as well. But as always, I'm Master Arkeo from the Arkeo Network. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment if you want to see if you have an idea or maybe something else that you'd like to see. Leave a like if you like this video and want to see more like it, and also subscribe if you want to get a notification whenever a video comes up. Follow me on Twitter at twitch.tv forward slash MasterRKO, three instead of an E, zero instead of an O. That way, every time I live stream or film something like this live, you'll be able to get notified when that happens and be able to watch this live. And I think that's going to do it for you guys. So as I am MasterRKO from the RKO Network, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Adios.